Yo, what's up everyone? Cam here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope y'all are having an amazing Friday so far. And it is actually a long weekend here in Canada because Monday is actually a civic holiday. So I don't have class on Monday, so that's good. And today I'm going to be kind of talking about school and some things, just some things that are going on in my life right now. And uh, yeah, so um, basically school is pretty much finished for this semester, which is great because I'm sick and tired of school. So that's awesome. Um, this coming week is actually review week for the finals and then the week after that is the finals. So I really, really hope I can pass and I'm going to make sure I do because I'm just going to be studying two hours each night in order to ensure that I pass. And as you guys know, I am getting jaw surgery next year to fix this. You guys see how I smile, right? When I smile, my teeth don't touch. Oh, I wish I could fix it myself. I can't, though. I'm not a surgeon. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I'm really excited to be finished with college for this semester. I get two weeks off um, just a, as a break, and then I go back again in September for another four months or three and a half months. Um, so, and then I go back again next year in January for another three and a half to four months. And I don't know. I think it's four months. I'm not really sure because we have midterms and finals and we have like tests and quizzes throughout the uh, semester in some of our courses. Luckily, I am only doing two courses in the fall, in September and in January, so this is like the last heavy course load semester for me, because uh, right, right now I'm taking four courses, and yeah, like I said, two in the fall and two next year. So that's, um, that's good for me, uh, and I only have to go to on camp. I have Sorry guys, I cannot words today. <laughs> uh, I only have to be on campus one day of the week because my other course is online. So that's really good news for me as well. I'm looking for a job right now. I, was actually, I actually have a potential job offer from someone from the government of Canada. Excuse me, of Canada. I don't know what's wrong with me today, you guys. Um, I'm fine, by the way. Um, and... I was supposed to have an interview yesterday morning, however, they said I have to be enrolled as a full-time student for the fall semester in order to qualify for a friggin' interview, so, and my, of course, my enrollment letter said part-time for the fall, because I'm only taking two courses, and you have to take, you have to do like 60% course load in order to be considered as a full-time student for that semester, so I was really pissed off and frustrated about that. Um, I am trying to get in touch, touch with them to say that I have the proof, my enrollment letter proof, saying that I, um, I am registered or slash enrolled as a full-time student for the fall semester. So here's hoping they will respond soon. So yeah, so if you guys are wondering what position it's for, it is for an, an accommodation co uh, coordinator with SWEP. If you guys want to know what SWEP is, just look it up. 
I'm, I'm not sure myself. It's, I just found out about it a few days ago. My stepmom was actually the one who suggested that I apply to this job online, and I did. Because my stepmom used to work for the government for years and years, and she worked two different jobs at the government. Um, of Canada, obviously. And, yeah, so I really hope I do get this job, because I need a job, and, and I'm kind of going stir-crazy, but I'm going to continue applying to jobs in the meantime until I hear back. I did send the lady another email today. Obviously, or not obviously, um, unfortunately, the lady who was supposed to interview you in, oh my god, interviewed me yesterday morning, yesterday was Thursday, right, yeah, um, yesterday morning, is now out of office until August 28th, so I can't, I mean, I tried to send her an email yesterday, but I got an automated response saying that she's out of office until the 28th of August. So that's not an option anymore. So I have to email her boss, which I can email. And I am waiting for a response back from her. So, here's hoping. Um, I'm going, I'm leaving for my Chicago trip to the city. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm going for five days. I'm going to see a lot of people. I'm going to see a lot of people. That's fine. I've never been to Chicago. excited to play it because I uh, I was waiting for it to come out. I actually was awake at 3 a.m. that morning on the 26th of July when it first dropped. Um, and I, I wanted to download it, but you, I had I realized I just realized that you have to have the base game, the first security breach game, in order to play Ruin. So I have to buy. Security Breach, was, which is almost 50 bucks on uh, Steam or on uh, my Switch. Um, and I don't have 50 bucks to spare right now. <laughs> so in a few weeks, I'll uh, probably get it. And I'm going to be uploading videos on that for sure. And uh, I'm, I cannot wait to play it. Like I said, I've seen a lot of 
really cool things about it, and uh, Fusion Z Gamers videos were pretty exciting and cool to watch too, because I'm not, I don't want to spoil it for anyone, but there's a lot of hidden secrets and stuff in that game, which I also wanted to talk about. I did not like the original, like the uh, original ending for uh, to Security Breach Ruin, because I did see the ending on uh, one of Fusion's uh, videos. I did not like the elevator shaft ending, because I'll tell you why, and here's my theory. I think Gregory betrayed Cassie because he could not let the Mimic out of the pizza plex. And I think she died. We don't know because the screen went black, but we did hear Roxanne's voice or Roxy's voice at the end saying Cassie. Like she's asking like Cassie or like, or like she's wondering where she is or whatever. I don't know because like the screen goes black when the elevator shaft, shaft drops. But we assume, we assume that she's dead. We don't know. And also, I believe that Cassie is an Afton. And you guys can look that up too. I have done my research on that. And I believe she is a part of the Afton family. I think she is a secret daughter of William Afton that we never knew about up until Ruin. Because she just, she just appears in Ruin. She's not in Security Breach, because it's obviously you play as Gregory, Gregory in Security Breach, and in Ruin, Gregory is not even at the Pizza Plex. He's not there at all. Now, Cassie is not supposed to be at the Pizza Plex at all. She was never supposed to be there. Why? Because the Mimic, right? She goes to the Pizza Plex, she's looking for Gregory, she's talking to quote-unquote Gregory on the Roxy walkie-talkie, and it's not Gregory, Gregory, we all know it, because he's not even there. And of course, she goes deeper into the pizza plex, and she op she breaks open the door with the concrete bare, um, in front of it, and lets the mimic out freeze the mimic from its trap and the mimic has been down down there for a long time according to what Gregory says and Gregory calls Cassie when she frees the mimic and says that she's he's been trying to reach her all night and he's not at the pizza plex and he says that you were never so supposed to be there uh, and son, she said he's like something is trying to trick you and then Cassie's like you're a bit late Gregory like yeah Gregory why do you so all of a sudden appear at the end of the game like <laughs> what how does that make any sense and this game was not created by Scott Cawthon uh, for the FNAF security breach ruin the original security breach was created by Scott Cawthon and others uh, but not this one. This one was by Steel Wolf. So, but it's still a really good game. I, I honestly, I think Ruin is probably a better game than Security Breach. There are three endings to Ruin, as far as we know. Um, now there could be other hidden endings or secret endings that we don't know about yet, or that no other YouTuber has found yet. The only ones that I know about so far is the Elevator Shaft ending. Ending or the princess quest ending thing, the camera ending. It's a scoop ending, which is where the mimic changes his suit to a different animatronic, but it's still the mimic. It's just a piece of a different animatronic suit. And the third ending is the Frederick ending, which is the strangest ending in my opinion. The best ending is probably the scoop ending. The worst ending is the elevator shaft ending. And the second worst is the Fred Fred ending. It doesn't make, really make any sense. It doesn't really tie in with the game. In my opinion. This is just my personal opinion. Guys. You guys may have your own theories and opinions and that's totally fine. I'm just telling you guys what I think about the game. Okay? From what I've seen in Fusion Z Gamers videos. Um, so yeah, the scooped ending is the best ending because we see the mimic I'm just going to tell you guys what happens, right? 
Okay, so we... Mimic is chasing us through the sinkhole that we went into to free it because we didn't know it was the Mimic until he appeared out of the darkness in the behind the door that was sealed. And so we he chases he chases us through the sinkhole area and then we go we run past and there's a door and we go through the door and then we lock and then we close and lock the door. And we, there's a button right there. We press the button but it activates the scooper. Now what the scooper is, and this is originally from um, Sister Location, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location. That's where the scooper was first introduced in the Five Nights at Freddy's uh, franchise in the uh, series. Uh, you guys know what I mean. <laughs> um, so yeah, we activate the scooper and the mimic is banging on the glass and he's trying to get out, he's trying to break the glass, and then the scooper grabs him, pulls him back, and he gets scooped. And basically what the scooper does, it literally scoops. Ah, it's, I, I can't be too graphic because I don't want this video to get demonetized or age restricted. Um, basically what the scooper does, it, it literally scoops out your insides. And the reason for that is because the animatronics in sister location want to take over your body because they need something to manifest. They're just a soul, a trapped soul that has nowhere to go. And that's why they say at the end, if you get the bad ending in secure in uh, not security breach, sister location, you get scooped and supposedly entered or baby or my uh Michael Afton or William Afton, I'm not 100% sure, it's one of those four. I think it's entered, because you can see entered behind the glass, he activates the scooper. And he takes over your body, and you basically become an animatronic. In uh, the animatronic, the animatronic becomes you. <laughs> it's kind of very um, compl complicated to explain in a few words, but I'm trying my best, so... Yeah, anyways, I am going to definitely play that game because I have, I've been wanting to play it ever since it came out. I wanted to get it the day it came out because it looks very, very good. I may ask my dad if I can do something about that. I might ask him if I can take some money out of my bank account for that. Dad?
subscribe right now, smash that like button, leave a comment down below saying that what I should do for the next video. Or excuse me. Excuse me. Um, leave a comment down below saying what I should do for my next video. And hit that post smash that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest uploads to the channel. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and upload as much as possible and probably in Chicago too. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you all in my next one. Peace out. Bye-bye. Have a great day, and a great weekend. Peace.